really remember about my time being in the foster care system was getting into my first foster home and I remember I'll never forget I asked my foster parent when is my mom gonna come and get me then I asked my social worker when is my mom gonna come and get me and I remember asking so many people around me when is my mom gonna come get me and I asked that from that first foster home to that second foster home to that third foster home and finally I got to that fourth foster home I had to have been about 10 years old and I remember asking my foster parent then when is my mom gonna come and get me and then it dawned on me she's not coming to get me. It was very clear early on that she had lost her rights because she didn't attend the trainings, the classes, and the things that the system or child welfare services in the county of San Diego said that she needed to attend to get me back. And then it became very clear that she was not going to be able to because as a parent, she lost her rights. For so many children, especially children of color, in San Diego County's foster care system and across the country, you see a epidemic of parents that are not able to get their kids back because they lose their rights before they're able to fight that fight. We need to create more systems that are more culturally competent and more reflective of children of color, specifically those children's parents who struggle with things like getting bus passes or trying to get on, you know, get to the training or get here, or get there. We need to make life easier for these parents and we need to actually aid them in reunifying with their children uh, because I remember it was a very difficult time after my father passed that my mother then was trying to fight for custody but she had so many overwhelming issues that it was not possible. We need to make life more possible for the parent to get their kid back.